The loon is in me. I can't hit it. Okay now. We are the learners and makers. After one month, five states, and nearly 4,000 miles traveling with our pop-up camper, we have reached our final stop. With John Day fossil beds and the painted hills behind us, we decided to end our trip at Newberry National Volcanic Monument. The kids earned one more badge, we walked on broken glass, and we got our kayaks out for one last paddle. whole month in our pop-up camper. Would you camp in the pop-up camper for a month again? In a heartbeat, my love. <laughs> I, I mean, we came back from this trip ready to plan the next one. Well, not even that. The last day of our trip, I mean, we spent like quite a bit of the afternoon relaxing with an atlas. <laughs> That's what Going, we How do. about here and here? And we're making notes and I think what we realized is just the best time to plan your next trip is when you're finishing your current one. Yeah. Now, this trip was in the summer. It's obviously not the summer anymore. Um, and it took us a while to kind of really get through all of the amazing places. And we're glad that we took the time to show each one. We are ready to just get out there and adventure more. We have some really big plans in the future. However, before we get to those oh, big yeah, plans, yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves. we have Ooh. one last stop on this month long pop-up trip. And it is not a place to rush. It is beautiful. It's a jagged volcano that blew up and there are lakes in it, but it is not Crater Lake. The loon is in me. I can't hit it. Okay now. We went to Newberry National Volcanic Monument, and there are two lakes mm -hmm. that are part of this, and our campground was right at one of the lakes, so we really got to enjoy being close to this caldera lake. Um, well, something I think that's really important to get across is we are not talking about Mount Doom or Death Mountain or the volcanoes you drew as a kid in school. This type of place, Newberry, it's a little southeast of Bend, Oregon. It's in central Oregon. It's more just this gently risen air area that's full of a huge volcano. So it's not like a big conical mountain, it's just this big mass, it's really spread out. And inside you've got forest and hiking trails and campgrounds and obsidian like you would not believe. But getting up to the top of this thing, you've got two lakes and they are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. In order to kind of finish up our time of camping with our kayaks and everything, we decided to go on a sunset paddle at East Lake. East Lake.
as we were leaving John Day, we talked about, oh, should we just press on home? It'd be a long driving day, but we get home. And the more we looked at it, the more we kept thinking, no. We're, we're on that home stretch, but we wanted to get just a little bit more, just stay a little bit longer. And as we looked at our options, we had looked at camping in the Newberry area the year before, but had to change our plans due to wildfire smoke. And this year though, we're taking another look at it and we're like, oh my gosh, this would be totally doable. We could camp there, get in a couple nights. And this is an area that I especially have been wanting to show Jody and the kids so much. This area is where I first fell in love with Oregon, the Central Oregon region. I've been to Newberry before. It is so dear to my heart. And finally getting to take my wife and my daughter and my son there, that was one of the most special moments of this entire trip for me. The Newberry area. There is an amazing obsidian trail. It's a spot where there was this huge obsidian flow. There's this gorgeous glassy obsidian all over the place. And we decided it's a pretty short trail. It doesn't have a huge elevation gain and we were gonna go for it. I will say that for me, this was the hardest trail that we did on our trip at all. Yeah. Um, it was really uneven, really rocky. There were spots where you couldn't quite tell where the trail was because you're kind of just going over rocks. And that kind of uneven, rocky surface is really hard for me as an amputee. Um, on top of that, I didn't have everything I needed if I had like a leg emergency. So I was a little worried, but I, um, we, we really pushed through it. It was, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was really cool. And Asher and I did not quite make it up all the way to the top. We both decided to kind of wait and you guys went all the way up to the we top. Did. This area is to me one of the coolest places you could ever see. It is the sort of place that you go there and it's like, what planet did we just go to? Yeah. Like, nope, our planet made this. Yeah, <laughs> it was, I mean, the obsidian is so beautiful and there's just so many different shapes and mm -hmm. sizes and, and the just kind of the patterns through it um, depending on how it cooled and everything. Just so, so cool. If you get to be in this area, it is definitely a unique, worthwhile spot to check out. Service in this area has done a great job putting out different informational signs 
there's so much to learn about the area, the eruption that caused all of this. It's something like a square mile of obsidian. And you get to see all these different ways obsidian has been used by people. And Connor especially loved telling everyone on the trail, like all the obsidian facts. Yeah. And when we went up to the top, so Connor and I go up, there's this one sign talking about life. And when you're in this stark, like, moonscape, I mean, it is pretty barren, but there's still, you know, there's like bits of lichen and little gnarly trees and all of this. But we find out that generally every August, frogs come up onto the obsidian float. And we have no idea why. And we're not talking like a couple of frogs. We're talking thousands of frogs, which just lit Connor up so <laughs> much. Every person we passed on the way down, he's like, did you know the frogs come up to the top of the big obsidian flow every August <laughs> and we don't know why? <laughs> oh, it was so awesome. Nothing to ignite him like, like that kind of, you know, yeah. interesting fact and mystery combined. That's, yeah. that's the stuff. Yeah. So, Aster, is obsidian glass or just plain rock? Mm. I think maybe obsidian a mix of those both. Hmm. Either that or glass. Those are both correct. Mm. It is kind of a mixture. Is glass disoriented atoms or is it oriented atoms? Both or disorganized. disorganized. Correct. <laughs> is obsidian yeah, we'll disorganized there. atoms or organized right atoms? Right Completely right disorganized as the sign says here. Glass. Disorganized atoms. <laughs> Glass and obsidian. Ah. Is obsidian glass? Yes, because it has disorganized atoms. What's obsidian. pumice? Solid glass with no bubbles. Pumice is froth glass with small bubbles. Nearly white pumice. And it still has disorganized atoms. Cool. The St. Clairs are camping in an action volcano! <laughs> With all of our travels over this past month, we have camped in deserts and wandered in the sun and had a hot, dusty summer. So it's, it's pretty amazing that the morning we were coming home, we're coming home, we're packing up in the rain. <laughs> This massive storm had come up from the southern part of the state, and it's just bucketing down. And it was so cleansing to the air. You get that fresh scent of the rain. It felt so wonderful to have that, like, as we're driving west toward home. But at the same time, it's like, oh, you know, we get home, and it's so wonderful, and it feels so nice. Yeah. We're home for now. You did it! One month, five states, nearly 4,000 miles, 3,851 to be exact. You have followed us through such an amazing journey. We have so many others to share with you. Check out our channel for all the other videos from our road trip, from our other adventures. Also go to our website, learnersandmakers.com, for more in-depth pieces on traveling with kids. You can follow our everyday adventures on Instagram at learnersandmakers, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and ding that bell so you get notified as soon as we drop our next video. I'm going to go check on our children, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye! <laughs>